Hey guys, it's Laurel. Today is Monday, May 20th, and this is floss tube number 39. This is the second time I've started this video, which is probably good because I was talking a little crazy in my first video, but my computer decided it needed an update right that second, so it turned my camera off and made me do a, an update. So update is now complete, <laughs> and I'm back. Today is my friend Marilyn's birthday. I don't know if she watches this or not, but if you do, happy birthday, Marilyn. Um, I hope everyone had a great Mother's Day. I hope that you, if you are a mom, that you got to spend some time with your kids. I uh, hope that if you're not a mom, that you got to spend time with your mom. I hope that if you're, sorry, if your mother is no longer with us, that you got to hold on to some good memories of her. And I just hope you had a great day. Um, the dogs are a little wound up today, being that it's, it's you know, after work time. I did not film on Saturday because hubby was home. We had some running around to do. And I, I kind of had the, the mully grubs. I didn't have a great attitude Saturday. So I thought I didn't want to share my my grumpiness with you so I thought I'd wait till I was in a better state of mind so today's the day I didn't want to wait until Saturday to film because um, I have something planned for Saturday that I'm excited about and I I, I I didn't want to eat up any time with filming but since it is a Monday night I have one dog in the chair with me I have two big dogs out in the living room wrestling so I hope they're not eating my house right now but if they get too wild, I'll pause and go check on them. Um, if I repeat something in this video, just ignore me because, like I said, I was probably about 10 minutes into the last one and it decided to do whatever it was that it did. Uh, now she wants to be not behind me, but in front of me. Now she just wants to run circles around me in the chair. <laughs> She did go home. My daughter took her back to her apartment, but my daughter had a beach trip, so she's been back with us a couple days. So she might come pick her up tomorrow, and she might not because she's going on another trip next week with some friends, kind of getting caught up from when she was gone. So um, let's see what else has happened this week or since I saw you. Just Mother's Day and work. Had some, you know, dental work done. Go back tomorrow to get my permanent on. Hopefully I won't have to see them for six months or so. Uh, I went to a Stitchy Meetup. Uh, there was, it was a, a group of people and I'm in their little um, text chat that my friend Rebecca introduced me to. They had a, a meeting, or I say a meeting, I mean they meet at a restaurant and eat and you know stitch, but um, there was one get together the Tuesday after I talked to you last. So I went to that and it was just me and one other lady, but tomorrow is the next one. And there are several people that have replied in the uh, text that they will be there tomorrow. Hey girls, you being good? They just want to come stare at me every once in a while. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go do that. So that was very fun and exciting. So, and I also didn't want to wait because I have all this stuff for Mania and I want to kind of give you like an update and I've got some haul and I've got some finishes and I want to show you some stuff out of my Etsy shop that I talked about. So I, I've got just a plethora of things. I do not, I do not have any quilting because I had said in the last video I was going to drop my machine off and I did. They normally have it done within a week. But he didn't get to mine until the following week. So I just picked my machine up two days ago. So it's not even plugged back in yet. So I'm sorry, I don't have quilting. But I I did cut some stuff out. So I hopefully will have some stuff to show you whenever my next video is. But you just never know. All right. So let's just jump in to Mania and what's been going on. Um, if you haven't seen me before, I, I do a, I pick a designer for Mania every year. So this year was Teresa Kogut. The first piece that I uh, started, I'm sorry, is Star Quilt. I am stitching this with the Call Four Colors, and I'm stitching it on 25 count mushroom Lugana. My sticker's oh, 
had them. Uh, my stickers on the back. And when I showed this in the first video, I was like, I, I don't remember what fabric was. It was right in front of my face, right here. But anyway, when this is done, it will hang over here on the wall. I already have a plan for it. When I showed it in the last video, I didn't really think I'd get back to it for a while. But because I went to the Stitchy Meetup, and this is on 25 count over two, I was like, oh, that'll be a good one to take. So I took it and I was able to finish the first star. I love all the variegation in that red. It is so pretty. So pretty. So I finished the star and then I came down the side just a little bit. So I will probably take this one tomorrow to this week's uh, meetup because it was very easy to stitch there. Okay, the next star I had was out of this book, Broad Stripes and Bright Stars. I'd previously done this one with a friend. This one is what I started for Mania. I want to do all of these. I love them. One of these two will probably be the next one I stitch out of this book. But this is the one I picked. I stitched this on with the called for flosses on 36 count Cafe Olay by Fiber on a Whim. So here's the flosses. I have this light one in here. It wasn't used in the the pattern, so I don't know why I put that on there, but um, but very pretty, pretty colors. And here's my finish. So I, I started this on the second week of May, and then I just kind of kept going back to it and doing a little bit before I was working on other stuff, and I was able to get it finished. I had originally thought that I would maybe do a pillow finish, but I think now I want to do it on a like a wooden board. I don't know if I want to try to order one. I may look on a couple of the sites, see about ordering one, or I might just paint one and crackle it. Because I've done that before and it turns out pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see what comes up. But I, I, I am excited to have a patriotic ooh, piece finished. Most of my other patriotic pieces are at work. I did get this one out. It normally it has magnets on the back. It normally goes on a little galvanized piece, galvanized piece that I normally sit in the living room. But I, I don't really know how I'll do my decorating yet this year. Okay, so that's my first two mania choices. And then I decided I would incorporate some whips into mania this year also because I have some Teresa Koga whips. So I decided to work on Let Love Rain. And I will show you where I am on this, where I am, what it looks like. I'm sure you've all seen it. Several people have finished it recently. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. I am stitching mine on a 32 count platinum 2 over 2. I had originally started out bad on this one. I got a little mixed up in my counting. But I, I'm, I think I've gotten myself past the mistakes. Since you've seen it last, I put in these, this little cluster of these two flowers and leaves, the two motifs next to it right here. For some reason, I left one of the flowers off of this one, so I finished that blue. The flower over, the big flower on this side and the tree were done, so I've since done the bird, the house, the heart, and started on the middle big flower. And I don't feel like you could necessarily, I don't think it looks like there was a mistake in it. So I'm not going to keep pointing out where it was. But I, I'm happy with where it is. And I am excited to go back and start in on some of these flowers and stuff up here. But it has been a lot of fun to work on it. So I'm going to try to get a little more work done on this one this month. But it's kind of hard to say. I may or may not. I'm sorry to keep turning around. I just want to make sure the little puppers are behaving. 
and then so that's three so today I started Tilly Goat which is one I've had for a really long time and if you've heard watch me you've heard me talk about our goat fascination so this will be the closest thing I have to a real goat is this stitch goat right here <laughs> so I am stitching it on the called for fabric this one yeah I'm 32. the called for fabric two over two 32 count bramble by picture this plus and like I said I just start on it at lunch today so I just got a little start originally I wasn't sure because I normally start in the upper left but I wanted to come down and do the ear or you know get some goat done so I thought about starting in the middle but I don't really like a middle start so I just came down the side and started on this spot this is where his little ear will come so cute okay so that's where I am on my mania pieces so for the rest of mania I want to work on Tilly Goat and I want to get out dwelling place and work on that so I have time left I did work a little bit on my whip go pieces since I saw you last but not really enough to have any progress to show you so I'm still I still need to fit some time in on those I probably worked on out of my six hours that it would be pulled for I probably worked an hour and a half so not a whole lot um the next thing I worked on if you remember, I was so excited in the last video. This chart, I wait for the Lord, which is beautiful. I am stitching with Kim Goldman and the Wildflower Stitcher and anybody else that might have jumped along. I don't think we, we ever, somebody had asked about a hashtag, but I don't think we ever, nobody ever said anything about one. Um, Kim is stitching just the middle portion right here. I do not know about the Wildflower Stitcher. She's cutting anything out of hers. I had talked about... Let me just pull this out of here so there's not a glare. So I had talked about in my last video that this line right here is all over one stitching. And I was like, you know... I made the comment that if you're stitching this with Kim Goldman, it would just seem right that you altered the chart a little bit, right? I don't want to even want to say altered, that you um, personalized the chart a little bit for yourself. So, as you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a quilter also. There is a lady in the quilting world named, I think her first name is Karen McTavish. She had done a specific... Um, design in free motion quilting that she developed and did in a lot of her work and it, it was coined it was actually named McTavishing is the name of this quilting pattern type that she had done so I was like you know it's like you know goldmaning doesn't really flow off the tongue very good so I was like okay maybe it's I pulled a goldman I don't know but I did it I, I copied the chart I cut that part out, put it back together, lined it up, and it's not, nobody's going to be able to tell. I mean, y'all will because I'm telling you that I'm leaving that out. But it was very easy on this pattern to take that out. So here's my little, here's my little piece. You can't really see, but it's taped together right there in my spot. So I, I'm doing it, Kim. I'm going to be, I'm going to be brave. <laughs> I, I say brave. It's not like. I just took a line out <laughs> but I'm stitching this on um, 36 count exemplar exemplar by Lakeside Linen that my friend Rebecca fixed me up with now I will say I said in the last video that I was going to the to my LNS to pick out some floss I had originally thought I would do it in red because when I first saw it I thought it was stitched in red but then I saw Kim's in her last video, and I was like, oh, I love it with the, it's like a brownie gold color. I was like, that's what I'm going to look for. So I took the linen with me, and the brownie gold color didn't look good on my linen. So I looked, and I was like, I don't want to do 
red because I had already taught myself out of red. I want to do something different. So I started pulling some other flosses because I wanted to do MPI. So I was standing in front of her MPI section. I wound up pulling a mauve and I was almost about to walk to the register with it. And then this one caught my eye. So I am using number 587, which is a burnt, um, burnt umbre. And I love how it looks on this linen. I love how it stitches on this linen. I did exactly what I said I was gonna do. Sorry, I ran my couple errands, went to the LNS, got my stuff, came home, plopped myself right down on the couch, and I stitched for a pretty good while. Now, don't don't think that there, you're gonna see a whole lot, even though I did stitch for a while, because I'm not super speedy. And this one I really wanted to take my time and enjoy because this is, you know, this is going to be up and it's going to stay up for a while. I mean, I am so in love with this fabric and this, this linen and this floss together that I was just enjoying the process. But this is where I am. Isn't it pretty? Now it reads as black, but it is truly like a dark chocolatey brown. And I just think it looks fabulous on this so pretty so pretty so pretty can you tell I'm, I'm a brown fan can you tell I went to get my nails done and the lady I had I didn't realize but I had a brown shirt on that was this shade I picked this shade out and she said oh you really like this color don't you and I said I'm I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a red and pink on my nail kind of girl I'm more like earth tones but apparently in my cross stitch I am too I love this. I love it. So I want to kind of come down and kind of put some of my landmark stitching in, but I would like to get down to the center where Kim's stitching and kind of stitch that piece out just so I'm interested to see, you know, her version and mine and Wildflower Stitchers together just to kind of see how that looks. But hopefully I can get back to this soon. But very excited about that. Okay. So now, that's all the stitching that I've done since I saw you last. And like I said, no no uh, quilting because my machine was getting cleaned. Now I want to show you, I want to talk about plans. Is that right? Yes, let's talk about plans next. So, I'm sorry, I'm confusing myself a little bit. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to talk about plans, but then I have more plans that are within haul, I guess is where I'm trying to go with all that. So in a couple of videos back, or maybe it was the last video. I don't even know at this point. Um, I had shown this chart in my haul, which is on Prudence by Plum Street. I got a message from Michelle who is one of the floss tubers on two bay, stitcher, two bay Stitchers, which they're really good. If you don't watch them, you should. I will list them down below. Um, and she said, hey, I have that charted. Do you want to start it? Do you want to, do you want to sell? And I was like, ooh, absolutely. So we had decided not to start until June because we both had stuff going on in May. So I actually messaged her before I started this video and I was like, hey, Michelle, I got my stuff. Let me know when you want to start. So we decided we're going to start this on June 1st. June 1st. So I, I'll talk to her. I don't know if we'll do, do a um, hashtag or anything, but um, if you have this or if you're thinking about it, you have time, get your stuff and stitch with us. Now she is... 303 by 263 is the count. I'm sorry, the puppy's moving around again. She just wants to make an appearance, that's all. So um, I am going to stitch this on 36 count Dusty Road by Seraphim. I think that'll look pretty good. What do you think? So I do have my flosses to show you in haul. So I'm going to continue working on my mania pieces. I would love to get some more work on I Wait for the Lord. 
I do have a plan that I'll talk about in the next video for some of my older whips, getting them in rotation. I've been thinking about it and I think I have a, I think I've formulated a plan. So I will talk about that in the next video. Okay, so now I want to talk about haul. And as I talk about haul, I will talk about the other plans that I have, if that makes sense. I'm sorry, she is just determined to just, she is literally walking circles around me on the on the chair is what she's doing. I don't, I don't understand dog logic, but it, it's making her happy, so. All right, so my next <coughs> um, section will be haul. So I did get my next piece of Seraphim. I know it looks similar to the other one, but it's not. I pulled them out of the package and laid them next to each other. This is um, Antique Lace 36 count. So pretty, so pretty. I feel like it has a blackbird. You know, I feel like it wants a blackbird stitched on it. I don't know, possibly. And speaking of blackbird, when I, did I get this there? Yes, when I was at my LNS, I picked up the latest Blackbird, a little bit of spring. Someone is about to start this. Who is it? It might be Stitching Jim. Someone had mentioned her and I went over and watched her and I was like, I've watched her, why, do, why have I not subscribed to her? I don't know what's going on. Like, I have to go back and look like there's something going on with my floss tube where I'm not getting my videos to pop up. I don't know what I've done, but somebody is starting this. If it's not her, you should still go watch her stitching gym if you don't. I watched her last video and I was like, I have that. I have that. I've stitched that. Oh, I want to do that. I mean, like everything she showed, I was like, yes, 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 yes. So um, go over and watch her if you haven't because she's wonderful. Also in my stitching group, the lady that, um, I met with, she told me about the Hathaway Stitchers. Had no idea they existed. Fabulous. Fabulous. Go watch them if you haven't. Also, follow their, they have a Instagram that is, I think it's cross stitcher or maybe cross stitch underscore salander. And they list a ton of sales that are going on. If you reach out, you can. Um, let them know about any sows that you're doing and they will add it to their list and it's a really good resource of sows to go in and look at and there are some things that I've never seen before so it's very intriguing so I'll list them down below also and you should go watch them so I don't know when I will start this one but oh, beautiful I love this paw flowers right here and of course my favorite thing ever right now right there okay the next thing I got in the mail, or maybe not the next, but next in my pile, is my Dying to Stitch Club. This is the uh, Sampler Sewing Circle Club. Okay, so this is the first kit. Look, black and white pocket. Black and white and red all over pocket. It comes with and all the stuff to do. So when I first saw it, when it came, I was like, I'm just gonna stitch it like a regular sampler, but I don't know, I think I might do this. I don't know. I'll see after it's stitched and go, but pretty, pretty, pretty. And maybe I'll do both. With all that time, with all the extra time I got, it'll be fine. <laughs> just fine. Okay, and then I got, sorry for shaking you. I got all the flosses for on Prudence. I know that's a real pretty way to hold them up, but look at those colors. It's gonna look so good on that fabric, so good. I'm just gonna quit sleeping is what I'm gonna do. I decided just so that I will have enough time to do everything or to sleep, it's not needed, it's fine. And then uh, Pam, had sent me a message. I had asked her a while back if she had like a birthday sow because I wanted to stitch the birthday sow with her if she was doing one and she didn't answer back. So she sent me a message 
and she was like, hey, I picked out my birthday salad, and this is what it is. I've never seen this chart before. Like, I cannot even tell you how many things that my, how many charts and fabrics and flosses and techniques that have been brought to my attention just through the friends that I've met on Instagram or through this YouTube channel or on Facebook or friends of stitching friends. And it's just amazing. I mean, now I will never stitch all the things I own and I know that, but I will stitch this. Pam's birthday is Saturday and that's why I have Saturday set aside because this is gonna take priority Saturday in my world. My husband is going golfing. I am stitching Pam's birthday style. Birthday style. This is Cobham, Cobham House Sampler. I love this. Oh my goodness. Like when she sent it, it was a little hard to see the picture and I looked it up on um, an online shop. Oh, wait, wait, we're making another circle. She's in my lap. So it it is, oh my goodness, so pretty. So it says, um, I'm just reading on the back. The quote was adapted from A.J. Balfour, who was Prime Minister of the U.K. in the early 1900s. Um, and it says, let me read it to you. What a desolate place would be a world without a flower. It would be a face without a smile, a feast without a welcome, are not flowers the stars of the earth, and are we not stars in the flower of heaven? I love that. So, I had ordered the chart and the floss, and I sent her a message, and I was like, what are you, what fabric are you using? Because I thought this was a little dark, but I was like, what are you using? So, she sent me a picture of what she is using, um, which is not the called for, but it is darker. So, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to get the called for. So I got the floss and this is the fabric. It is 36 count fossil by picture this plus. How pretty is that going to be? I am so excited about this. So pretty. I mean, I mean, are they not just going to pop off there like crazy? This white up at the top around. Oh, I cannot wait to put needle and thread in this. I cannot, cannot wait. So Saturday, Pam, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So happy early birthday, Pam. Okay. So now I am going to show you just, I have a little teeny tiny little bit of quilting haul. I have a couple things I need to ask you about bring that one pattern to ask you okay so I have one thing to ask you about I ask you the other one in the next video but I'm gonna show you real fast it's like four things so when I went to pick up my machine uh, you know I had to do some browsing because I'm in a quilt store I can't not buy stuff they had some of the mini charm packs of the stateside by Sweetwater I love this line when it came out and I, I didn't buy any of it. I mean, I have very little of it. I think I have some in a, a kit and I had one uh, mini charm pack that is in the process of being a project bag. Excuse me. But they had a ton of these. So I went ahead and got four because I think that will be enough to do a little um, table runner for my dining room table. And that should go. Pretty fast. I looked up. There's a free pattern on Fat Quarter Shop that I think I might use. And then the, sorry, my fabric has fuzz on it now. The quilt that I showed you in the last video, Quilter's Cottage, I wanted to get a color for the flowers. So I got a piece of red grunge. I think I might make all of my flowers red because we have some red rose bushes in the front. And I'm trying to like mimic a little bit of the colors in my house. So still debating if I'm going to do all different colors or do the red. And then I bought this pattern. I would say probably, it's probably been two years ago, I saw this quilt done. It was hanging as a model at Pineapple Fabrics 
but they didn't have any kits left. I don't even think they had any patterns. I think they had sold out. And it's always just kind of been in the back of my head because when I saw it, my husband was like, that's really neat. I like that. So anytime he like notices a quill and comments on it that he likes it or that it's neat or whatever, I do put some effort. Hold on. She wants to jump down. Do you want to get down? I do put some effort into finding that because he is very supportive of my hobbies. And if it makes him happy that I have this quilt, <laughs> it's all about him. It's all about him. So I bought this pattern to make him happy. <laughs> She's not hurt. She just gets a little angry sometimes. She's very mad right now. Okay, hold on one second. Okay. They all decided they need to go outside. So they're outside. So I, I can finish this like in 10 minutes. <laughs> I should have known better to try to do this today, but I just, I missed y'all. I wanted to, to come see. Okay, so the next thing I had talked a while back about Primrose Cottage had a free Patriotic Mystery Quilt. So I was able to go in and print off the rest of the directions. They have finished the, the mystery. So I printed that so that I can do that one day. Okay, so. I went over my mania, I went over my plans, I went over my haul. I'm sure there are things that I forgot to tell you that I wanted to tell you that I will think about as soon as I turn this video off, but I will just put those in the next video. Would love to have you stitch along with either one of the new starts coming up on Prudence or Cob Cobham House Sampler by Rosewood Manor. Um, now I want to show you some of the floss bling that I have in my Etsy shop. I have some other stuff I want to put in my Etsy shop, but I'm just kind of dipping my toe in to see how Etsy works and all that stuff. So I'm just going to show you real fast just a few things. Um, some of them, if you see me show this and it doesn't have the bling on it, it's just because... Let me rephrase that. Some of the floss bling in my Etsy shop has like a little charm on it. If you see it in the Etsy shop and, it, shop and it has the charm, but I'm not showing you the charm today, it really does have the charm. I just haven't assembled all of them yet. If I show it to you and it doesn't have a charm and it doesn't have an Etsy charm in my, an Etsy charm. <laughs> if I show it to you today it and it does not have a charm on it and it does not have a charm in my Etsy shop, it truly does not have a charm, if that makes sense. So, twofold. Of course, I want people to come to my Etsy shop, but I want opinions on if you think these are good things, things people would like, people things people would not like. And I'm curious if you happen to watch me and you are a cross-stitch designer. I have seen people do cross-stitch charts as their floss bling, you know, as the, the finished picture, but I feel like, I don't know how that works because I feel like they would have gotten permission from the designer to do that it am, am i on the right track am i thinking because i got a couple of people i would love to do floss bling excuse me with their designs but i don't want to just do that because i feel like that's infringement on their copyright so i'm not sure how that works i've tried very hard all the pictures that i've gotten are supposed to be were listed as copyright free pictures i do have a couple old barns close to me that I'm going to get my daughter to go take some pictures of because I think they would be beautiful on some floss bling. So I'm just going to run through this real fast. If you're not interested, I'll see you in a couple weeks with my next video. Um, I appreciate you. If you if you are thinking about subscribing, it would be a great time to subscribe. Um, likes and comments, you know, get me out there a little bit more to the world. I, I'm kind of in this I'm not on a good algorithm or something. Like, I don't get tons of traffic on my channel, which is fine. I'm not trying to retire from my job and be some floss tube personality or whatever. But, but I am like 50-ish, 50, 55 people away from hitting a 1,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. So if you're thinking about it, it'd be a great time. If you don't want to, it's okay. It's fine. 
I still come on here and babble. If, if I was the only person that watched me, I would probably still come on here and babble. <laughs> so I'm going to just run through these real fast and just see if you can even see what it looks like if they show up good. I don't even know if they will. I should have tested it. But here's one. It's a little bee with a little sunshine. A little quilt pattern. It's a little glary. I'm sorry. This one does have a charm that goes on it. This is little music notes with a charm that says joy. The music notes are not exact on there. Here's a little puppy. Now, oh, there's the back of a little puppy. He does have a charm on him that says love. Um, this one I love. I thought this was really cute. It's some some little old scissors and a... I'll hold my scissors out of the way. It's a little like lady and some vintagey looking. I have a couple birds. Um, there's a bird. There's a bird. I really like the square ones. Do y'all like square ones or round ones if you use these? I don't know what everybody's preference is. I guess it depends on what you put in it. A little butterfly. Also a machine. Quilt design. Here's another bird. I did think about, I don't know how y'all feel about giveaways. I don't know if I reach a thousand ever, if I want to do some giveaways, or is that just gimmicky to y'all? I don't know how that works. There's a little house with a key. And if you did want giveaway, if you would be interested in giveaways, if it's not gimmicky, like, or is this something you'd be interested in? Some floss bling? I don't know. Or would you rather have charts? Or I don't, I don't know. I know what I like, but I like everything, so I'm easy. Um, these aren't on rings yet because they're bronzy. I have some bronze rings ordered, but they're not here yet. There's a butterfly. Some more vintagey women. I did one of the that same pattern in square. There's a different one. And I have, mostly I just have like one of each list, but I have stuff to make more. A little sailor puppy. So, just throw it out there if you're interested. If you're not, it's no big deal. Um, but I need to go check. I hear my dogs beating at the door. I hope they're not killing each other. Um, so, I'm going to run off here. I just, again, want to say I appreciate you coming listening to me babble. I know this was a whole lot of gibberish but i just wanted to have it knocked out and out of the way just so i feel like i was just staying in touch with you out there um again happy birthday to my friends marilyn and pam if you're watching um hope you have the best day ever um and to everybody else hope you get lots of stitching and lots of quilting done i'll see you soon